Ladies and gentlemen, it's your Captain Bruce speaking, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Fly Corp. I originally reviewed the demo of this uh, in last summer, and I really enjoyed the demo version of it. So I was looking forward to this coming out. It came out, I want to say like September, maybe August. And I didn't buy it right away because it was $8, and I'm like, this game is probably not worth $8, because it's probably going to get like very repetitive and... There's probably like no end goal in sight as far as like completing the game. But it was on the Steam sale uh, recently and it was like four bucks. And I'm like, you know, that's the price point I want to be at. Nothing against the developers, nothing against the design, the game itself. It's just when you're spending your own money on games, you want to get to the right price point before you're going to get out of it. I'm not sure how long the series is going to go. This one's replacing uh, Mark Out. Mark Out reached its, its pinnacle of uh, enjoyment, sort of. And so this is a new series, so this is the first episode, so as always, when a new episode starts in a new series, like, comment, subscribe, let's get into the algorithm, let's get it seen, let's get people talking about this. Without further ado, we're going to jump into the game. Um, sure we'll do the tutorial, why not? Meow. I wasn't expecting it to take this long. And we broke it already. Oh. Welcome to Flycorp. Today we'll start the journey of developing our passenger airline. We're going to plan routes, launch new planes, and make global decisions. Are we to build a successful transportation network spanning the entire world? Um, sure. Seems a bit much to start off with, but okay. To move the map, click and drag anywhere in the direction. You must use WSAD. Okay. Gotcha. Use the mouse wheel or Q... Gotcha. Tap the circular Frankfurt icon. Passengers are arriving at the airport. Here's a list of cities where passengers want to fly. If the number of passengers waiting for the flight exceeds the airport's capacity, you will lose. Tap anywhere outside of the airport to pop up to close it. Gotcha. Click on Frankfurt and move your cursor to Berlin without releasing left mouse button. You can see the cost of building this route near the line. 129. As soon as the plane arrives it's in such a city, you earn money. The amount you have is displayed in the upper left corner. My head's kind of blocking some of this text, I apologize, but I don't think there's actually a great place to put my head at the moment. That didn't sound right. The icons of cities and airplanes will change in color depending on the passenger occupancy. Green stands for empty, red stands for full. There's never enough money to connect. Every, there's never enough money to connect every city to the other. But we can open routes with transfers. Connect Hamburg to Berlin. Boop, 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 boop. Gotcha. Good job. Note that passengers who want to get from Hamburg to Frankfurt will transfer in Berlin because there isn't a direct flight. This means the Berlin airport's load will increase. You only receive money when passengers reach their destination. Copy. Next, join. Stuttgart and Frankfurt to connect. Hey, I'll turn it for eight bucks. To increase the airport capacity, upgrade the airport level. Oberlin's pop up and upgrade airport to level two. Bloop. Um, we will upgrade. Well done. You can do the same with airplanes. Each level will increase their capacity and speed. <laughs> Sell the plane mid-flight. Tap the down line of the route to see its name and the planes flying it. When you tap the airplane icon, you'll move it. You'll move to it. Plane and routes can be sold for half the price. Okay. Another way to improve your network's performance is by increasing the number of planes. Choose any route and buy a new plane. Oh, look here. Um, buy a new plane. Different scenarios and the game modes have different win conditions. For example, in Unlock All Countries mode, you need to unlock a new country before the timer with the same in the upper right hand corner of the screen runs out. If you don't, you lose. That's what's in the demo version was Unlock New Countries. If you don't know where a country is located, tap the timer with the map name, uh, with the name and you'll be moved to it to unlock a new country. Tap it on the map. There's Belgium right there, okay. Don't have the money yet? Gotcha. So you don't have enough money to unlock this new country. 
You can skip some time by increasing the game speed, but careful, airports will fill up faster. Um, there we go. Once you have enough money, you set the time back to normal. Choose the country and unlock it. Gotcha. Music's okay. Going forward, we might, uh... We might sub out the music in the background. You'll see messages from time to time when new cities are unlocked and when an airport is almost full. These cases require your attention. Move the map, tap the message. Gotcha. Unforeseen situations pop up. I just wanted to pause so I could talk to you, you directly, but okay. Thanks for the, the notice. I'm just looking at my preview window real quick. I'm trying to see if there's a better place to put my head. I mean, I can move it up to right underneath the, the game bar, maybe? Nope. I can move right out of the window, but I cannot go to OBS. Thank you for that. So it will probably be moved next game, maybe. I don't know. I mean, next video. The Germany government gave you a grant for upgrading an airport in Frankfurt. The airport one of these. Okay. Okay. They want to go to Berlin. Finish. If it's a tour. Ah! It's super loud in my headphones. Alright, so that was a tutorial. So, good for us. So, we will now play. Tutorial. Unlock all countries. Free to play. Custom scenarios. Scenarios. Huh. I think in the intro video, since we're already like eight minutes in, roughly, and this is just an intro, just a tutorial, look at it, and then we'll get into the meat and bones of it um, in the next video. Let's do free to play. This mode has no country unlock timer, and ports don't get overcrowded. You can pick the starting country and how to develop your transport network, okay? We're going to do the United States. So, uh... Interesting, but okay. I thought we could start with, like, uh... Like, state, and then move out that way, but... Alright. Got people in D.C. These people in D.C. want to go to, uh... New York. People in Pittsburgh want to go to New York, Chicago, and DC. So, so now we got. Oh, that's not what I want. Scroll all of it. There we go. So people going from New York to Pittsburgh to Chicago, so I mean... Chicago is getting kind of uh, chunky, but we're still doing good. I mean, this is nice and relaxing. I assume they would give you more airports to connect, but maybe those will unlock in time, I guess. Maybe, maybe these are the only airports they put in the U.S. Oh, there we go. Kind of want to cancel... Ah, you don't want to make every line a connector. So what we'll do is we'll take you and we'll connect you to Pittsburgh. Eh. To D.C. To New York. Pittsburgh. We'll go that direction. We don't want to overload New York just to begin with. So these are like the real-time decisions you have to make as far as like how to offload. And then when you get into it, you can start like 
connect, connect, connect. So your passengers can start taking direct flights, which will alleviate some of the transfer routes. Made that play a little bit better. Victor's getting a little bit overcrowded, huh? Just a short route to DC. Get that taken care of. People are going to go to Chicago and Pittsburgh. Our PR department is advising us to launch a massive ad campaign that costs 157. According to the forecast, we could increase ticket prices by two times per week without losing without losing the man. Sure, why not? Didn't be about the Windy City. This is kind of a nightmare. I wish you could pause it. I wish you could pause it and like redo your routes. Um, where do people want to go? DC, New York. You can see the ticket prices increased by two times with the number of passengers staying on the same level as before. According to the forecast, we have to maintain this level for a week. Really need to upgrade this airport so I can hold more people. Women is coming in kind of slow. But this is what you can expect from the game going forward. Uh, this is very light compared to how it gets, because there's no timer. We're not running against uh, like a five-minute timer to unlock Belgium or unlock uh, UK or Morocco and stuff like that. For some reason, New York is uh, these are staying pretty nice and slender, and I guess Pittsburgh is the big transfer city between all these thoroughfares. But I do have a DC to Pittsburgh and how much does that can cost? 169. I'm kind of making Pittsburgh the biggest hub in the United States and it shouldn't be that way, but Detroit. Where do people in Detroit want to go? Anywhere, I imagine. I mean, that's really going to overload Pittsburgh, though. And Pittsburgh's already on the, the cusp of being overloaded. You can upgrade this airport to level 3. Maybe connect Philadelphia. Just do like short connections from DC to Philadelphia. That's 64? Look how close it is. Forty two is fine. Now that one person who wants to go between New York and Philadelphia can. I don't want to cancel this line. Pittsburgh's going to get a lot more problems going on. Because now everyone has to go from Detroit to Pittsburgh and then... People in Columbus want to go. Philadelphia, New York, DC. I mean, I mean, I'm not upgrading that plane to three. This plate. Yeah, we're about to lose because this airport cannot handle any more stress. Or she wants it. No, 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 no. I want to. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just click on the plane. 
All right, a lot of people are going from here to Detroit, really? Really, that didn't really net me a lot of money. Now more people... Well, plane can handle a lot more people, so when it lands, it'll pick up all these people in Detroit, which should lower us a lot. There we go. I'm sorry, Columbus. I'm going to have to connect you to Indianapolis, D.C. That sucks. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to... I guess we'll have to connect up to Chicago. It could be that many people going into Indianapolis. There's a lot of people waiting to go to Columbus, that's fine. I spent all my money on grading Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh keeps hitting that that peak level of uh, almost being too much. It's at 21 out of 50. That's not... 20 out of 20, that plane needs to be upgraded. There we go. This music kind of funky. I really need to connect this to somebody. As soon as one of these plans land, I can pull that off. There's a contest for the best airline with a huge prize in Detroit. Participation would cost. We don't have the money. No! Oh, it's all right there. I could use that before. Before connecting that to that. I need to upgrade this airport because I'm about to connect Milwaukee to it. Forty-two out of fifty. Now Indianapolis is getting overran. Bot though. Big plane is landing in Pittsburgh. I mean, that's the biggest plane we got on the, the sky though from Chicago to Pittsburgh. It holds 100 people. Just these small routes going. All major. I mean, you could do a direct connection. I mean, look at that. People going here, Columbus, Milwaukee, Detroit. I could make that, I could connect this to Philadelphia to Detroit. Problem is the only place to connect it is New York. New York's about to get overran now. We got extra plane coming in. So we're looking pretty bad. Can't complain. A little room on that plane. Pittsburgh's not getting super overloaded anymore. Now that we have some extra routes, taking some uh, pressure off of it. Connect Milwaukee to Detroit. But why though? Why would you connect Milwaukee to Detroit? 
Columbus needs to be attached to some other place other than Indianapolis. That's for sure. Um, where do people in Columbus want to go? Providence, really? So we'll do a Columbus to Pittsburgh. And then you can go to Pittsburgh to the New York. That's an easy one. You're in Indianapolis. This is, by way, no way to do in this. Uh, upgrade that plane. Not really a lot going on. So I have you connected to New York. Do I have you connected to DC? I do not. DC to New York. I'm going to sell that route. I'm going to start doing more interconnections. Making Philadelphia a connection point. Really need to relieve some pressure on Pittsburgh, though. So I got two planes doing that connect that run. Got two planes going to Philly to New York. That's good. Are a lot of people going to Washington? No, not really. That's Columbus's problem. Nothing you just can't throw some money at. You get 30 people going to Providence? I mean, I got two planes doing that, that journey. I mean, where are you going? Pittsburgh to New York? So we got some money now. We have like almost $2,000. Let's start connecting... New York. Oh, I didn't even see this Richmond. My bad. Upgrade in Washington DC to level two. It's Detroit at. A fireworks festival is building up in number of vessels. Hotlanta? Where people in Hotlanta want to go? Probably New York. Indianapolis? Nobody from Atlanta was going to Indianapolis. I think we should connect. Philadelphia. I mean, we could connect large airports to large airports. I mean, that's basically what you're supposed to do is just connect large airports to large airports and then smaller airports to the large airports just for, like, feeder routes. But then it all depends on what you consider a small airport, like Columbus. Columbus and Cincinnati should be feeding in the Indianapolis, I believe. Milwaukee to Chicago. Then you should connect Detroit to Chicago, Detroit to Indianapolis, Detroit to New York. Chicago. What's going on in Philly? Oh, it was only at level one. Wow. 
Houston? So I guess that's what we're gonna do, starting in Atlanta, because that's my preference. So we're going to Atlanta, Chicago. Atlanta, Detroit. Atlanta, DC. And that should be enough money spending for right now. We got these big routes going. Gotta upgrade these plans going to these bigger cities because... Until we get some more connectors out here in the... It's gonna be hard to justify connecting Houston to any other market than Atlanta. Definitely upgrade that. Definitely make it a bigger plane so we can offload more people. Big old planes. There we go, Dallas. Houston to Dallas. Robin's feeding in New York, that's good. I mean, it always considers what you consider a major airport, by the way. I mean, these are mostly major airports, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Chicago. But Chicago, New York, Atlanta being the biggest airport of the big airports. Houston as well, so. So you can just see how maddening this can get. And this is only this small section. Imagine we start getting California online in the Midwest. I mean, we haven't unlocked Charlotte or Miami, St. Louis. Make that a bigger airport. Make that a bigger plane. So up in Minneapolis. Oh, you've never been upgraded to level two. There you go. So let's connect Denver. That's really out there in no man's land. Um Dallas to Denver, Denver to Chicago, Atlanta's getting pumped up with all these people coming in, so we gotta make sure we keep an eye on that. It's only 50% full. I'm looking for orange and yellow planes. Yeah, Atlanta is... I wonder how big the airports can get. I think probably level 5, maybe. Great Indianapolis since it's getting a lot more feeders into it. So I'll upgrade that, that plane for just uh, the serious problem with baggage in Milwaukee. A lot of bags are lost. Passengers are going to file. Should we hire lawyers? Yes. Phoenix. Phoenix to Dallas. No, I don't want to unlock Mexico. Going 
upgrade Phoenix. Dimmer's probably getting to the pool. Sweet. Put him upgrade to do a level two. Level two. Level three. Like maybe one or two more airports and we're probably gonna call it a day for this video. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how much fun it is to watch. It's a lot of fun to play, at least now. Since there's no, uh, there's no restrictions or time limits or, or problems at the moment. We'll see when we go into unlock all countries mode to, uh, how well that's going to work out for us. How's this airport doing? Yeah, it's doing okay. I wish they only unlocked like major airports to start off with. Not so much like Columbus or Providence or Richmond. That way you could just kind of think and dunk. So we got Atlanta to Detroit, Detroit to New York. Los Angeles. Go ahead and upgrade that airport twice. Spend a million dollars connecting LA to uh, to New York. So a slightly orange plane. Atlanta's pumping. A little more room for Denver to grow. We have that slightly bigger plane, why not? Pittsburgh's getting overwhelmed again? I guess I really need to be looking at the routes, because you know you should be flying multiple planes on the same route just to lessen the load. But this is kind of madness when you look at these lines. Cleveland, I mean, they did really love Ohio here. Um, where do we connect you? Connect you to Detroit. I mean, it's not the best route, but... It's only about 50% full. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for that. You can pretty much get the gist of how this is going to go. Ah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting a new series on the very first video. I appreciate it so much. You can find me streaming on Twitch at Haunted Husband. I'm in the middle of my 328 days of streaming, so please check that out. You can find the link in the description below. It's always over your wonderful day. Hopefully you remember to like, comment, subscribe. And, of course, I will haunt you later. This is Captain speaking. Prepare to deploy.